Hey, this is Nick with Michigan Pool News, and we're getting ready to walk into the state-of-the-art equipment room recently constructed at West Bloomfield High School. I wanted to take a little bit of time here as we walk down, and I want to ask you guys a question. What does it take to maintain a facility like this? The district invested over $300,000 in a state-of-the-art pump room. They've got multiple pieces of equipment in here that do wonderful things, but what does it take to keep that facility running? How expensive is it to keep that facility running. Real quick, let's go over to the Defender. This is one room down here with two operators. It's a whole school. They don't have time all to be down here all the time. What does it take to get your maintenance company out here to help you take care of this regenerative media filter? What does it take to make sure that the warranty on this piece of equipment is maintained so that you can use it? I'm going to direct you right behind us. Here's Brian Lowe. He's the operator for West Bloomfield. Say hi, Brian. How's the equipment running? Awesome, awesome. Let's keep taking a look at what we got. What does it take to make your chlorine generator run? Right? Are, are the stenter pumps running how they should be running? Is the cell stack cleaned and maintained? Right? How much time is coming out of your day making sure that works? What about your brand new BEX-5 controller? This BEX-5 controller has multiple strainers, sensors, all of that stuff needs maintenance, right? To make sure this is controlling that water the way it needs to be controlled, this stuff needs to be cleaned, take care of, and maintenance. And it's not unique to the BEX, that's any chemical controller. Let's go take a look at the UV. You have a state-of-the-art UV system here protecting you from chlorine-resistant microorganisms. Is the software being updated on that on a regular basis? Is the air filter being cleaned on a regular basis? Are we making sure that the sensors and the dose are being optimized so that your water is protected? All of these things go into taking care of this facility and making it run the way that it should. So I ask you, what can you do better or how can you be helped by your aquatic professional? And that's what we're hoping that Aquatic Shield can bring to you. Thanks for viewing Michigan Pool News.